living room. So today I want to talk about my favorite Lolita shoe ever, the Angelia Pretty Tea Parties. Red is one of my favorite Lolita colors to coordinate. You wouldn't know that from looking at my wardrobe. Okay. There's a lot of pink as expected, and wow, there's a lot more blue than I thought I had. I really like the color red for clothing. I feel like it just looks good on a lot of people. I feel like it looks really good on me. <laughs> My first pair of Angelia Pretty Tea Parties that I got were in red. Um, I got them back in um, 2013, um, and I got them used actually, so they would have been from a 2012 or earlier release. I'm not sure what year that they were released in. They're actually getting a little bit wrinkled and so there's wrinkles in the leather and so I thought that it was time for an upgrade um, so I got Angelia Pretty's new release of tea parties and right out of the box I noticed some differences between the two so over on the right are the old tea parties and over on the left are the new ones um, you can see some slight differences in color I think that the older tea parties are more of a tomato red they're a little bit lighter and I think that the new tea parties are more of like an apple red. I think they're a little bit darker. If you look at the inside of the shoe, you can immediately see some differences in the logos. For example, the old logo has a bow on top and says Angelic Pretty, where with the new logo, the bow is around the words Angelic Pretty. Also, the old logo has a heart around it, but the heart is elongated. Versus with the new logo, the heart is more of a classic heart shape. Personally, I think this looks a lot better. The old logo also has silver writing, where the new logo has gold writing. The polka dots are very similar between the two. If you look at how the shoe is attached on the inside, the sole of the shoe seems to easily come away from the seam of the inside of the shoe. I think this might be possibly due to age. However, this gap is kind of a problem because it allows for as you can see down here, leaves and other debris to get stuck. This is much better taken care of with the new shoe, so there is a slight gap. However, as you go towards the back of the shoe, it gets very close, and I can no longer fit even my nail between the sole of the shoe and the gap of the wall of the shoe. The straps are also somewhat different. The straps on the old shoes are lined with white on the inside. This means that when you're wearing them, if the strap were to ever flip over, it would look white. What's nice about the new shoes is that the straps are lined with red on the inside. So if the strap were to ever flip over an accident, it would still look the right color. This is the same for the straps that go around your feet. The actual buckles on the shoes do not seem to have changed. The old shoes had silver hearts with a clip and you are able to attach the clip to the other side of the buckle. The new shoes also have this. The heart shaped clip is still silver and it attaches to the buckle on the inside of the strap. One of the most obvious differences for me was the stitching on the front of the shoe. The old shoes had light yellow, almost cream color stitching that goes around the shoe. The stitching was a little bit far away from the outside of the shoe. The soles of the shoe also stuck out a little bit more so that you could see the brown coloration. This created a sort of almost outline for the shoe. The new tea parties have black soles instead of brown and they don't stick out as much. The stitching has also been replaced with a dark gray, almost black color stitching that matches the soles. Therefore, the stitching is not obvious and does not stick out. Personally, I like this look a lot better. The heels of the shoes have not changed very much. They do have a slightly different look to them, in part because of the stitching. Also, the layers of cork that are used to make the shoe look slightly different. There also looks to be an additional layer of cork used to line the heel of the new tea parties compared to the old tea parties. The bottoms of the shoes are also different. The old tea parties just have a letter indicating the size. The new tea parties just have Jolly Pretty's logo embedded into the sole. The zigzags on the heel look to be about the same. The shape of the soles also looks to be the same. Both of these shoes are size small, and lining them up there doesn't seem to be any difference in size. The old tea parties seem to be a little bit flat, while the new tea parties seem to have a curved sole. However, this could just be because the new tea parties are, well, new, and the old tea parties, I've worn them quite a bit. Comparing the feel of the leather, the old tea parties feel a little bit thinner compared to the new tea parties. 
This is good because one of the problems that I had with the ulti parties was a sort of flaking of this inner layer. So you can see these white speckles. These white speckles are actually chipped off from the side of the leather from the inside of the shoe. One of the key differences is that the new tea parties are lined with red. So even if this were to flake off, it would be red on the inside and wouldn't be super obvious. However, feeling this material, it feels a lot more sturdy. And I don't think that it would flake off in the same way, but I suppose time will tell. I don't see any differences in the shape of the front of the shoe. However, one of the things that I've noticed while trying each one on is that the new tea parties seem to fit my toes a little bit better. I seem to have more wiggle room for my toes compared to the old tea parties. The bows are slightly different on the front of each of the tea parties. For the old tea parties, the bows wrap around the shoe a little bit more. See how they kind of curve around the shoe? For the new tea parties, the bows stick out. So I just thought it was very interesting that tea parties have changed and sort of upgraded over the years. I honestly think that they look better now. I've been getting the newer releases of tea parties lately, and so it's great that they all like match and have the same kind of look to them. And I do like the stitching being more closer to the shoe and not as obvious, and I do like how the inside of the shoe looks better. And I feel like they fit better too. I feel like they're a lot more comfortable as well. I will always think that Angelic Pretty Tea Parties are the best Lolita shoe. I just really like them. This is Iru, over and out. Don't forget to like, comment, and hit that subscribe button if you like what you saw. You can also watch one of my past videos if you click the link. You can also follow the links to my social media sites. Thanks for watching.